um welcome to another session uh, this time we'll be talking about the marx section so remember that um in the previous sections we've talked about the the stream the class work now we will talk about the marx so um as a teacher you will be able to see the results of your students once you're done now for those that you don't automatically create or you don't automatically mark uh, you might have to enter their scores one by one in each of them so the different courses we created has already been created as um it has, they've created that in different sections so we have the due dates for each of this this has due dates and um this one's don't have any due date so uh remember we said they should create a class and we gave them an assignment then we had the no code we had the quiz and we had to create a new class so um like i've said each of this are different um, qu um scoring mechanisms so because we had already created a category at the beginning in our stream settings and uh, first remember that we can just go to the session i mean the settings button and you scroll to the end and you can see the uh the categories so these categories would be given to us or could be designed by your by your office if you're using it for, for work or could be designed by the school whichever one but most times they're usually designed so you create it so we created this dummy uh for us to be able to properly um you know give it you could even add let's imagine you want to use attendance as part of the grading section so you could reduce this by let's say 10 and to 20 and let's give attendance 10 points so i'm just trying to make sure everything is up to 100 so it doesn't matter you can depending on your school or your office uh, design uh, that that's that solves it so um now the overall mark will be shown based on this is automated so you're not going to do any of this uh, it's based on whatever it is so now um you can see at the top here because of our um the, the categories we can see that the create new class has out of 10 so the maximum should be 10 and all that uh and all that so i upgraded this guys um these ones have not been turned in so uh i'm just going to grade them so let's say 10 and let's say 10 let's say 10 and 10. So you can actually do this after you're done so what this is saying is so let me open create a class so i've graded this now your students don't see your students will not see your um your grading until you're done so for you to grade them it's best to do it within the the particular um environment so once you do that you put your grades and once that is done you return you must return this so uh it's just giving me a warning because they've not submitted the assignment so i'm just doing that automatically so it's saying return for this. So in, depending on the number of students you're returning their scores to, it will return it. So if you have more than this number I have, if you have a lot of students, what it does is the ones you've returned, it filters it for you. So you can also filter by first name and surname, depending on what you want to do. Uh, then um, it looks that you can, you can click on this to see all those that you've marked so it tells you it brings out this um then now 10 points basically and that's it so uh you could do that then you could do unmarked okay so what that's saying is that i want to update the point value and you don't have to do that so just make sure that your your categories are as required by the office so uh so this shows you so on the mark section because i opened this particular question or task if you want to remember what you said to them so you just go to the instructions uh so what this is saying was that create a new class you expect it to create a new class and upload the class uh screenshots so basically that was the task that was given and they were supposed to do that now um uh as of now the classroom does not have a way of you collecting the name and the scores one by one i mean 
together but you can download um, this so it's a copy all marks to google sheet so it opens the google sheet for you and this is automatically shared with all your uh listen so yeah so what this has done is all the all the uh results right now you can see that it has created it for you so you already have your grading immediately so uh this way you can uh it it helps you to just uh, fix everything right so if i update it here notice that if you update anything here it's not going to update in the classroom so this just works on your google sheet because if i go back to classroom and i go back to um i go back to the courses the marks sorry uh you can see that it has oh it has actually updated it so okay yeah it, it can you can you can work with both let me see if i change it to five let's see if it works with that so no it hasn't it doesn't update here i don't think so so it doesn't update here so it's what you give here that uh so it's best to for you to correct it right here or do your your grading right here in, in classroom basically so what you just do is like i said um this are drafts so you just return each of them because they're unsubmitted yeah it, it gives you that warning so but most times make sure that your students have submitted their work so yeah so this is what i was saying so those that you've assigned marked if there are ones you've not marked it's going to show above so it just sections it so automatically so you don't have to start scrolling up and down to see those that have um not being marked or something and you can also return this and once you do that it brings them under it brings the next person under the return and it tells you that you don't have any pending so uh what this is also shows you is how many students are still i've still not handed in their their um the assignment how many were, was it assigned to and uh, so assigned to is okay how many you give the assignment to this is how many people have submitted and um, this is how many i've marked so that's how it works and so i can actually so yeah so once you do that you go back to this and uh so basically what i would advise is once you're done and you satisfy that you're done with it what you could do is just wait till the end and just download so yeah i'm uh, sorry just download um the just download the you can just download the student um details i mean all the student details as well so if you look at this what you can see here is you can look at a particular student's grade so all you need to do is to click on the student and it opens up everything so it shows you the scoring for each of the persons one by one and um you can you can see you can click and see the details uh and all that so th this is where he submitted he uploaded the file so it shows here automatically these ones are just um so it uh this 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 are just uh, quizzes and all that so whenever he attaches a document you can see that so yeah so i think this is how it works and uh i hope that uh you'll be able to use the environment more friendly. Um, for now, that's it for this particular section. Um, we will um, go over things. I, will, I mean, in the next course or in the next video, I'm going to tell you how to walk around with people. It's going to be very short also. And uh, see you in the next video.